Good evening, Dominators. Today we're gonna talk about talk about how to store loot, your precious resources, your gold, food, oil, and um, how to store it so that it cannot be stolen by uh, uh, attacks on your base by raiding attacks. So basically, there are two methods. Uh, so first one is is basically uh, buying shipments. As you can see here, I have some oil shipments that I have stored here. Uh, they're relatively small amounts, um, and you have to spend your uh, uh, resources. For example, you can buy shipments from mills. Uh, around 10,000 foot and it costs you 9 uh, metal uh, and uh, what I have just I have some oil that I bought it's uh, two diamonds to get around what 120 oil roughly so um, 130 something so um, it's relatively small amounts, and you have to spend your uh, diamonds or or metal or coal or cider. Um, but if you're about to collect the cider and and metal anyways, and you don't have any more diamonds that you can hold in your storehouse, so why not just uh, not waste them but invest them into the shipments because these shipments are literally protected in any way so no one that can't take this away from me when they attack me so um, but another more reliable way is actually a little thing called uh, storage a blessing and this is uh, this little thing here and it's actually currently active at the moment so uh, with this one you can actually uh, protect your current given loot by 27% so how it works is whenever somebody steals let's say 3000 oil from me 27% uh, of that is given back to me and it's kept under the defense log so basically you can see if I scroll down Yeah, it's very laggy, and you saw what happened. I had some loot that I have kept here with the storage blessing. And if you scroll down, what happens is that often the log doesn't load correctly and it starts like... Uh, uh, just goes a bit crazy like you saw at the moment when I, when I try to scroll down. And what happened, the loot that I had actually stored here with the storage blessing was what tripled no four times five times so basically all of the for example all of these uh, crowns and the loot I protected 27 percent but with scrolling down I can actually collect it what four or five times quite often so let's see one two three Okay, four times. This is already the second one. So I collected it four times. As you can see, uh, I got all of that loot four times to my back to my uh, pocket. So, so I got more loot back than was stolen from me. Pretty nice thing, eh? So, but all in all, how it should work is that basically. You just uh, protect your loot and whatever gets stolen you get 27% back. And this is safely kept here in the defense lock. So you don't need to collect it right away because in a small portions that is pretty pointless what you get back. But if you keep it here, for example you can see 1400, 1300, 1000 oil, so another 1400. So altogether you can actually keep quite a lot of loot here. 
and you can collect it only when in need. For example, if I'm 10,000 oil short of, of some kind of upgrade, I can just pick it up then. Uh, and, uh, and in that way, it, it can become quite handy. And um, this is something that's always in my back pocket. When I'm short a little bit of gas, let's say three, four, five hundred thousand gold, I can just pick it up from here and finish my upgrade or, or whatever. So it's it's a quite handy thing because uh, you build that or you buy that uh, temple blessing uh, with the leather and metal. So uh, metal for me is often used for mercenary army, but uh, the leather I don't use much, anyways. So why not just spend it here uh, protecting my loot and. At the moment I actually have, don't have a lot of loot uh, kept there because uh, it has been a session where I've spent a lot of my oil because I just put my fort to upgrade and uh, I'm doing the general upgrades for Cleopatra so uh, I've had to spend a lot of oil recently as you can see only 60,000 left so so thus my historical blessing is not most used at the moment because there's nothing much to store or protect against the uh, raiders uh, and um, I will actually open up my last log uh, to s you can actually see how much I had kept the last time I actually tried to count how much I have when I was saving up for a large upgrade so here you can see I actually made a small summary of uh, how much loot I currently had. So you can see altogether 17 attacks made on me out of 40 or, or something. Uh, I had actually used Oracle Blessing. And I had, in my defense log, I had around 11,000 oil. 1.6 uh, 1 million food, because my food is almost always maxed, and uh, 1.2 million gold. Uh, so that was a pretty handy, uh, because I was actually, I think I used most of the oil for one of the upgrades I, I was collecting oil for. Uh, one thing just to keep an eye on in the defense log is that uh, the number of attacks made on you that is shown here is limited. So if you scroll all the way down, you can see that uh, you can see that this is the last attack that it shows. So I haven't counted; it's something around 35 or 40 defense logs that it shows. And as you can see, that if I now scroll up, so I can basically have only three more attacks on me. And after that, this loot would be lost here in the defense log. So I just need to pick it up after three attacks made on me. Otherwise it goes away. And it's limited to 20 days or 40 attacks. So keep an eye on that. So tomorrow I'll probably just pick it up, even if I don't need it at the moment. And, uh, and of course, before picking it up, always play around a bit uh, and mess around in the scrolling because it, it might actually duplicate or triple or even four times give it the loot. Thank you.